Hello and welcome into my first video in a few weeks. School started back up, I got a job, and I just haven't had the time to post on here like I usually have had. But a trade happened a few days ago that I wanted to talk about, and I haven't been able to get the video up because technology has failed me, and um, I just haven't had the time as much as I used to. So videos will come out more inconsistently on this channel, I believe. Uh, less game reviews because I just don't have the time to go into that much depth as I did before I had a job. As you can understand, when you have a job, you know, more time is consumed. School started back up, so more time consumed. I just have less time to do that. So videos will come out every now and then. But I want to talk about the trade that the Bruins made. Ryan Donato to the Minnesota Wild for a fifth round pick in Charlie Coyle. Now, I have very mixed feelings on this trade. The first reaction is, good, we got a player who is serviceable now. My, my second reaction would be, we lost a kid who has a wicked good release, a wicked good shot, and has a type of shot in this league that can register 30 goals. Maybe more, maybe less. But he definitely has the ability to become a very elite goal scorer in this league, in my mind. Now, a lot of other people look at other parts of his game and say he won't get there. I think he's a very young kid who just needs to polish his game off a little in the AHL, uh, which the Wild are actually just throwing him right in there. I believe he has three assists and a goal in his first three games, so that's f four points in three games. But uh, if we do know one thing about Ryan Donato, he, he starts hot. I mean, we brought him into the team last year late in the season. I think he had like nine points in 12 games or something like that. So he's very much a quick starter. I, do I don't expect him to keep the pace he has so far with the Wild. I don't expect that. But uh, I think overall, this this is one of those trades. I, I think we could, we're either going to look back on it and be like, wow, Charlie Coyle helped us in the playoffs. He helped us get somewhere we couldn't get, which it looks like we're going to run into a brick wall of Tampa. So how far we get, I do not know. Uh, Ryan Donato could end up being like a Blake Wheeler, a Phil Kessel, a Tyler Sagan, probably, probably not a Tyler Sagan or a Phil Kessel, maybe a Blake Wheeler where he's just a really, really awesome point producer. Even though Blake Wheeler, I think, has outperformed Sagan and Kessel. Well, maybe not Kessel. Kessel had like 90, I think, last year. I think he outperformed Sagan last year, so I shouldn't put dirt on Blake Wheeler's name. He's a great player. Ryan Donato has... He, he could be a 30-30 player, I think, in this league. I honestly think that about Ryan Donato, so it hurts. But I know, I know Charlie Coyle helps us now. So really, this is, this is a win-now trade for the Bruins. And it's trade deadline day. I think it's like 40 minutes to the deadline right now. And I'm really hoping, even even if we don't get Mark Stone, which I know is the big fish in the pond right now, they should add a winger. I don't know who. I don't know where. There's too many in the league. There's too many solid players in the league. But I really think you need to add a dynamic player for the third line, if not the second line. Because right now, I like the way the lines run. I like Heinen on the first line with Bergeron and, and uh, Marshawn. He compliments them well. He doesn't get left behind. He can hang with them, and that's important because then you can play Postnarok on the second line if you don't get the big fish in Mark Stone. But uh, I, re I really, I really am mixed on the trade right now, guys, because Coyle helps us now. He's a physical guy. He fills that third line center gap that we needed all season. He fills it beautifully. He's going to do a great job there. There's no question about that in my mind. But what you gave up in Ryan Donato could really look bad in a few years it really could it could it could look like the Kessel trade uh well actually I don't, I'm not even sure what we got back from the Kessel trade to say that I shouldn't speak but it could look like the Sagan trade where you really have nothing to show for it now or the Blake Wheeler trade where yes it helped you with depth pieces but overall you much rather have Blake Wheeler now um Charlie Coyle's career high in goals is 21 assists 38 uh he, he he's not gonna probably ever uh He's, he has 10 goals and 18 assists so far this season. So he's uh, 28 and 60. So he's on pace for a little under 40 points, I want to say, uh, which isn't too shabby. Uh, I, re I really don't hate it, but I don't love it. And I think if Donato fulfills his potential, we're going to look back on this one. We're going to be uh, criticizing it pretty heavily. But uh, that's the risk you take when you trade young players. And I'm happy we got a guy to help us for now. I just wish we could have got rid of a different prospect because I was a lot higher on Ryan Donato than some people in the Bruins community. 
Uh, that's really all I have to say on the trade right now. That's just my thoughts. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic, and I, I'm not cheering against Ryan Donato. I wouldn't do that. I'm cheering for both Coyle and Donato because I like Donato. He, I saw him play at Harvard in college, so I'm going to be cheering for him. I'm also going to be cheering for Chuck Coyle to make the trade look good and help us push in the playoffs, and hopefully, even if we don't beat Tampa or, like, we should beat the Leafs. I, I honestly think we should beat the Leafs. If we don't beat the Leafs, this is this is bad. Uh, one other thing I gotta touch on actually: Charlie Coyle signed for next year as well, so it's not a pure rental, which I like because that means he's gonna be around. So uh, most of the Bruins forwards core should be around next year. Hopefully, they find a way to move David Backus. Uh, I'm actually going to work in a little, so if the Bruins make any trades at the trade deadline, I will post a video tonight at 9 to 11 p.m. somewhere in there. But uh, that's all I have for you. Sorry about the inconsistent post. Sorry about my hiatus. But you got to do what you got to do in this world. Peace. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe.